What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Pace Studio here in Midtown Manhattan, New York City. We are broadcasting to you live from the Manhattan Center here on 34th Street, as we do every single day. And we are joined right now by some very special guests. We are really excited to have Lake Street Dive with us today. How's it going, guys? Good. Great. Welcome to Pace. Welcome to New York. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, you guys have a new record coming out May 4th. It's called Free Yourself Up. Uh, we've heard a couple singles from it so far. We're really excited to hear uh, this record, and we're going to hear three songs from it uh, this, this afternoon, this morning, actually, as it were. Um, so let's get it started off with some music. Tell me a little bit about what we're going to open up with today. We're going to start with a song called Good Kisser, and uh, it's kind of self-explanatory, I guess. <laughs> <clears throat> if you're gonna tell them everything Tell them I'm a good kisser Tell them all the things you told me In your desperate whisper If you're gonna tell them everything Don't leave out the good part Tell them the way that you broke when he told me that you missed her Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, man, it's such a pleasure to have you guys in the studio with us today. Uh, we're psyched about this new record called Free Yourself Up. Um, so your last record it came out in 2016. Uh, it was called Side Pony. And that one I know was, uh, you guys made that one with Dave Cobb, who makes like every other album, seems like these days, uh, that, I, that I hear. 
Um, and I was reading about this one, um, for Yourself Up, and uh, one of the first things that is noted is that you guys uh, basically produced this one yourself. You had an engineer with you in Nashville, but you guys um, basically came together and, and made this one yourself. And it seemed like it kind of connected immediately to the title. Uh, I was scanning like the, the track names, and sometimes you can just find the album title in the tracks, but it, it wasn't there, so it makes me think... There's something to that idea. Was it, was it something that you guys wanted to like really kind of work on, like you know, making this one as a group? Um, is, is that a way of sort of freeing yourself up in a sense? Yeah. It, what, what's funny is is that uh, during the side pony recording process, we sort of embarked on uh, something that was fairly new to us, which was uh, writing in a more collaborative way, which is where the seed was planted to eventually do it ourselves. And by do it ourselves, I mean, you know, we worked with uh, the engineer Dan Nobler in Nashville, and he was very instrumental in, you know, creating a lot of the sonics that you hear on the record. Um, but really, it was it was a good working relationship, and there was give and take, but we, we decided, we were like, you know, we're going to choose the songs, we're going to write the songs together, a lot of them. We're going to, you know, uh, make those hard choices, you know, and and do stuff until we get it right. Yeah, uh, were there a lot of? Are there typically a lot of hard choices to make in a in a recording session? <laughs> yeah, there's so many choices. There's like thousands upon thousands of choices to be made to the point where like sometimes you're like, does it even matter like what we decide right now? And then of course it does matter because it comes out on the record and you know that's available for the rest of your life and you might play the song, a thousands upon thousands of times. So the key is to sort of like maintain focus and uh and really care about each decision as it comes across and what's helpful about that for us is that there is the crew of us and not just one person that is producing so yeah. you know as as one person might get fatigued with making those decisions you could pass it along to somebody else and uh trust them to do a good job yeah totally you know i wonder if it's somehow in a, in an opposite way also maybe like easier when you have a producer that you can sort of like filter a group's worth of ideas through one mind, and it might even take a little of that pressure off. I mean, is it hard to come to a consensus when you guys are making a record? We thought it was going to be harder, I think, than it was. I think we were sort of scared to, because uh, we work so democratically, and whenever we arrange a song, everybody's ideas are tried and weighed out. So we thought maybe that in the process of producing would actually end up being sort of fatiguing. But actually, it really didn't work out that way. We uh, we were a good team, and that trade-off of being able to sort of pass the decision on to somebody and someone else make it. I mean, there's so much trust because we've been playing together for so long. Yeah. And we also know each other's strengths. So when there was a decision to make about a sound or something, we, it's like we knew who to defer to. Um, who was like really familiar with that, and that was great. I th I think overall it was like super positive. Yeah, totally. And I mean, as far as the sound on on the record, uh, you know, Good Kisser uh, immediately reminded me of of Side Pony and kind of that that vintage soul sound. Uh, there's another single uh, that came out uh, called I Can Change, which sort of seemed to go another way um, and had a, a you know a more I don't know insular personal. It's a folk sound actually. Um, and you know, I was, I was, I, those are the two songs I've heard and they sound so different. Uh, and so I was naturally wondering, you know, if two years later, cause you got to spend a lot of time on the road, I think after side pony, I mean, was there a direction you were sort of looking to go with this record, uh, sonically, or is it just sort of like, you know, the songs come when they come and it's sort of an, an organic process. They come when they come, you know, we all have a very different pace uh, of writing, especially when we were writing, this is. For those of you who can see me, it's really awkward. Um, a keyboard is going over. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Wait the other side. I think that 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 sonically speaking, it, it, the, 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 there wasn't like a ton of, of conscious decision that we made um, in the outset or, or in the planning phases. I think that that we have found that when we have only ourselves to answer to, um, we end up drawing on the sort of world of of influence that we have. Um, as opposed to uh, when we are working with someone else, they, they have a, a you know a predetermined sort of vision of what we sound like. Yeah. So you are Lake Street Dive. You sound like X Y Z, and we don't. I mean, we don't have that beyond just like what 
you know, obviously I know what we sound like because I hear us every night. <laughs> um, but I, I don't necessarily think this band is a soul band or, 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 or an 80s cover band or, or, or you know, like, a, you know, the, the, the next logical progression in Jamiroquai. Uh, you know, I think I'm that, you know... scratch that off my notes. <laughs> from, I might, you just blew my next question. Uh, all, all we have in our heads about us is what we, you know, already have in our heads. Yeah. So it's, it's what we listen to. It's what we share with one another. It's, you know, it's, it's an experiential thing versus a, like a, you know, a, a reactionary uh, thing that you get when you listen to a band that you're not in. Right. Yeah, cool. Um, so we're going to do a couple more songs uh, with Lake Street Dive from the new record called Free Yourself Up. Um, tell me a little bit about song number two. Uh, we're going to do the song I Can Change, uh, and this is the one you were talking about a second ago, where like the way that we produced it on the record is kind of pared down and folky. And uh, we chose that uh, deliberately because it's a song about, that's very sort of first-person uh, perspective talking about like being able to take your sort of life in your own hands and, and make changes to yourself. So we, we wanted it to be sort of in the folk tradition where like people could pick up a guitar and, and sing it themselves and, uh, and sort of experience that, uh, the narrative of the song firsthand. Cool. So, anybody out there that plays a guitar? You can learn this song. I have the tablature. <laughs> Hey, cast a long shadow I know that I lie in it And let it ruin my mind from time to time Escaping an old battle That clings on like a vine to me Whispers dirty lies in my ear I know we didn't start this fight And I won't let it rule my heart tonight I can change, I can change I can still change I can still change Tracing an old pattern Drawing the lines from where I am And from where I want to be Forget that old adage That history continues to Keep us from the world we want to see I am scared that I won't get it right But fear won't rule my heart tonight I can change, I can change I can still change I can still change I can change, I can change I can still change I can still change I can change, I can change I can still change I can still change I can change, I can change I can still change Guys, thank you. So, you know, I, I just actually uh, watched the, the video for that song, uh, I Can Change. And what I, what I noticed is, like, the, the song, when I first heard it, definitely seems like a, as you are saying, like a personal credo of being able to sort of find your way through 
in maybe a weird time or any time, no matter who you are. And then I was watching the video, and um, if for anyone who hasn't seen it, uh, Rachel, you are kind of going through these wardrobe changes, uh, which seems, you know, pretty literal. But the thing is, is that it's other people who are changing you as you sort of stand. And it, and it, I, and for me, like the the meaning of the song sort of changed a little bit. Like it's not always yourself doing the changing and it was sort of like you're standing strong as other people are kind of putting changes on you and suddenly I thought huh I don't know if I quite you know get the meaning of the song uh like you know what when you made the video I mean was that sort of a, a way of extrapolating what the song means to you in terms of how these changes happen sure yeah I mean you you're right it was just a a, a simply a, a literal um, visual, um, you know, explanation of showing, um, you know, a person changing. But I think that the outside forces that are present in changing me from one outfit to the other, and therefore one personality to the other, are um, another way to look at the song, which is it's hard to maintain yourself when people are telling you how you need to be. Yeah. And everybody has experienced that in anything that you do in life. You're going to you're going to realize that a lot of people are telling you what you should be doing and how you should change, but it's really up to you to know how you feel like you need you need to make changes in your life. And so it's representing that. Yeah. Um and you know as far as the you know I was thinking again about the title of the record Free Yourself Up and you know i can't help but wonder since the last record came out and we've had a you know interesting couple of years since 2016 we all have uh and if these all these things all sort of tie together into like larger ideas of what's going on in the country in the world uh and it and it extends from the personal out into the political or the social i mean was that something you guys were thinking about as you were making a record call for yourself up as well absolutely you know we We've been a band for 14 years now, and um, you know we've we started out as kids in college, and now we're adults with adult lives, um, and we're still trying to do this <laughs> music thing, and um, you know always trying to find new ways to express ourselves and what's going on with us, and um, you know. Uh, that's the funny thing about change. It kind of, it's going to happen whether you like it or not, you know? And part of that was like, you know, uh, we could do this record and like try to give everyone, you know, like you said, the outside forces, like the, maybe the Lake street dive that people may expect and like try to write those quirky breakup tunes, uh, to this day. But, you know, in doing so, we would kind of be neglecting, um, who we are now. Uh, because we're different, uh, you know. We're still this band that is able to do the do a thing, <laughs> but yeah. you know we have we have different things to talk about, different things that concern us, and and you know that's just that's part of the process of growth, and you know we couldn't, you know, ignore that. Yeah. When making the record. Yeah. Cool. Um, nice. So we're gonna do uh, one more song uh, with Lake Street Dive. Um, these are songs uh, you're hearing today from the new record out May four called Free Yourself Up. Uh, tell us a little bit about this last one. Well, that's a, a, what we've been talking about. It's a good segue into this next song. This is kind of a, you know, a not your average uh, relationship song. It's kind of a departure for us and more looking at what's going on in the world. And uh, this song is not released yet. So this is our world premiere right now. All right.
pain, pain, pain. Shame, shame, shame on you. I bet you think you're a big man now, but you don't know how to be a good man too. Thank you so much. That is a great, that's a great song. Uh, and yeah, I love how you guys sound in this particular format, uh, a little bit stripped down. Uh, the, the drums sound great, keyboards, an amazing addition, and the harmonies sound amazing. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, so everybody, I don't have to tell you, this is Lake Street Dive. Uh, the new record is called Free Yourself Up, comes out on May 4th. Uh, there are a couple singles out already that you can hear now. Um, I Can Change is one, and I'm, uh, I'm forgetting the name of the other... Good Kisser. Uh, good Kisser, sorry, yeah. yeah, which is the first song that we heard today. Um, so the uh, all that stuff you can find on LakeStreetDive.com. Uh, if you want to see these guys live, you're in luck because they're going to play about 1,000 shows uh, in the near future, um, including here in New York City at Brooklyn Steel on May 10th. So that is the local show, but there will be plenty of others to go around. So check out LakeStreetDive.com for that. Um, guys. Thank you so much Thank for coming you. to Pace and yeah, playing in our black us. box for us today. Have a great tour. Congrats on the record. We're really looking forward to it. Thanks. And uh, please come back and, and play verse again anytime. All Thank right? You. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Thank you, guys.